France, Japan, Germany and the United Kingdom have skipped the development of fifth generation fighters and are instead working on the sixth generation fighter that will go into mass production in 2040, while South Korea will add internal weapons bay and radar absorbing paint on its Mark II variant of KF-21 fighter jet by 2035. India's Aeronautical Development Agency has classified the AMCA Mark II variant as 5.5 generation, as it will see technologies from both 5th and 6th generation fighters, that will keep the aircraft and its technology relevant when it enters production in 2035. It will feature next-generation 110 kN thrust engine developed jointly by Rolls-Royce with features like distortion-tolerant fan systems, advanced composite materials and heat management systems, laser pods to protect the aircraft from air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missile from a close range of 10 km, gallium nitride-based X-band next-generation AESA radar system, advanced electronic warfare suite and intelligence surveillance system, integrated vehicle monitoring system, automated takeoff and landing, auto air-to-air -air refueling and remote piloting. During a virtual summit, the Swedish Defence Minister Peter Hultqvist has made a pitch to sell the Saab's Gripen fighter jet to the Indian Air Force, and this is the second time a top Swedish government figure has pushed the Gripen aircraft for the 1.3 lakh crore rupees tender to make 114 fighter jets. The Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has also invited Swedish defence companies to capitalise on the Make in India opportunity in the two dedicated defence corridors. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has lost 100 employees, while many employees at the helicopter's final build area are also affected, after which they were forced to stop even the flight tests which has impacted crucial defense projects like the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft and Light Combat Helicopter. Hindustan Aeronautics has lost 1,200 crore rupees worth of revenue from sales in the first two months of the first quarter of 2021, as HAL could not deliver products due to severe disruption in the supply chain from both Indian and foreign vendors. HAL chairman has said, that four FOC standard Tejas Mark I aircraft are ready to be handed over to the Indian Air Force, and the 83 Tejas Mark I-A fighters will not be affected, as they will have enough time to recover and meet the timelines. The Indian Air Force currently uses the SAP-518 jammer pod on the Su-30, and has also released several tenders for indigenous development of various components of the Israeli L-8222 airborne self-protection jammer pod. We had reported in November 2020, that the DRDO developed advanced self-protection jamming pod will soon enter production with eight prototypes, that will be used for final rounds of flight testing, that will be done in collaboration with Indian Air Force on its Su-30 fighter jet. As per latest reports, the production has started by the private sector firm Aditya Prasitek Private Limited, that will undergo user acceptance trial on the Su-30 and might find its way on the MiG-29 and Tejas Mark II fighters. The Chinese Air Force has carried out a big aerial exercise involving 22 fighter jets from its air bases opposite the eastern Ladakh sector, which included mainly J-11 and J-16 fighters. The exercise was watched closely by the Indian side, and officials have said that the Chinese fighter jet activities took place from the recently upgraded airfields that have concrete structures to hide away the presence of the number of fighters. The Indian Air Force has an edge over the Chinese Air Force in the Ladakh region, as the Indian combat aircraft can take off from planes and reach the mountainous region very rapidly.